So this is the, um, the Kerrig Sabrina. It's a compact carpet extraction machine. It's actually a carpet shampoo um, extraction machine. So it has the same power as your, your larger um, uh, carpet shampoo machines that you can get, which are usually you know, van mounted and quite heavy to maneuver around. So it's a perfect size for small jobs, small to medium sized jobs. Um, and it's probably more suited for, uh, let's say for example, if you have a hotel and you want to be able to, to clean inside the, the rooms in between when you're, you're going to get your carpet guy to come through and actually wash the whole floor in one go. So um, your staff can get this little machine out, put water inside of it and go ahead and clean up the spillages maybe on the carpets. Um, you can use it inside pet grooming centers as well for, or, or child care centers because it's actually comes with this special um, head with a squeegee. It's a two-in-one um, extraction head, so you can actually go ahead and wash carpets at the same time. You can actually wash uh, tiles or, or concrete floors, for example. Or more so just extract, so suck up the liquids as well, whatever may be on the surface as well. Um, you can use it for as a portable machine for getting rid of small stains. If you just have a small stain in a foyer, uh, instead of getting all the equipment out, you can just take the machine and the hose out, and, and the upholstery nozzle and just go ahead and quickly spray and extract out whatever stains or dirt or whatever grime has fallen onto that, that carpet. Um, the other uses that you can look at uh, for it here will be for motels, uh, motels, hotels, schools, uh, where you need to clean up some, some small areas as well. If you want to look into start up a small car detailing business um, or if you're looking to do something as far as a portable extractor for doing upholstery or carpeted stairs for example, that's where this little thing is just absolutely amazing. So. The airflow on this machine is actually really, really high. It uses a, a heavy-duty two-stage uh, bypass motor, um, which generates really high vacuum pressure. So the vacuum pressure is what you need to suck the water out, but at the same time, it's actually really high airflow as well. So it's about 60 liters of air per second, and that gives you, um, you know, much, much better flow to be able to collect a lot more of the liquids faster. Um, so it, this is purely a shampoo machine. So this is not a vacuum cleaner, so you have to make sure that you don't use the Kerrig Sabrina for, for vacuuming. Okay? There's no filters inside this machine as such, there's a little foam filter for the vacuum cleaner motor, which I'll show you later on, but this is not for vacuuming, it's purely for wet only, or you can, you can suck up water, unblock drains, that kinds of stuff. Um, so it's a single motor machine, it's a single phase, so it's a 10 amp system. Um, it's probably more uh, along the lines of about maybe 7 amps actually, so you can either plug in straight into a normal household um, socket, okay, and it comes with about an 8 meter uh, lead. So the machine is actually all uh, made out of this high impact, really tough plastic, and it comes with these four caster wheels which are soft rubber, okay, so as you can see here, they all rotate, which makes it easy to, to maneuver around. That's the exhaust, so the, the hot air of the machine comes out directly onto the carpet, which helps to, to dry the carpet as well. Um, so in the front here, you have got some really easy controls. So you have the, the spray tool, the button. So that turns your pump on. So that's what's going to release the water out when you pull the trigger. And this is the vacuum cleaner motor. That's it, two, two switches, that's all that it needs. They're all protected from water, so that way they're splash proof um, buttons, uh, switches, and that's your, your inlet for your, for your, sorry, your outlet for your water. So to use the machine, yeah, it's very, very simple. What you have is you have these two latches, one on either side, okay? So this is where your dirty water will, will be extracted into. So as you're, as you're extracting and washing your carpets, this will fill up with dirty water. So there's a 14 litre capacity. That's a 14 litre capacity. So ideally, as your dirty water fills, okay, you go ahead and you tip this out into your drain or your toilet, you then top that up and put this back into here again, okay? So it's pretty simple. So the water, your clean water, goes into this section. So you can use a hose, um, you know, hot water is fine. Uh, not boiling water, it is plastic. Okay, there are plastic components inside of that. A lot of the, the hoses are plastic, so you don't want to use boiling water inside of this. But hot tap water should be fine. So what you have is, you have this little compartment inside here. That's where the, the pump sits inside. That's where it sucks the water from. And that's a filter I was telling you about. This just protects the motor from any fluff or, or you know, excess hair, whatever it gets, gets past the liquid. So you have to make sure you keep that clean. This is the motor just in the top. Okay, so once you fill this up with your water, you're mixing your carpet shampoo inside there as well. You put your top on. There's only one way this can go on. So you will not fit in any other way. Just, it sits on top. Latch it on. 
And what you want to do then is just grab your hose. So it comes with a two and a half meter, it's a, a 38 millimeter uh, vacuum hose. And so you have one end of the hose, this one here, that's called a male fitting, okay? So that's your male fitting, it's a quick connect brass coupling. And so what you have is that'll just push straight in to the front. To release it, you just do that. Okay, so you just release the coupling from here, it's a quick connect coupling. You have to make sure that you depressurize the machine before you go ahead and remove that. Okay, and I'll show you that later on. So that's where your solution will be. So when you turn your spray um, uh, switch on, the water will, get, will come out through this little clear hose. This is your vacuum hose. Okay, that'll just fit straight into the front. So whatever you're picking up, you're vacuuming, goes into this dirty water canister. Your clean water will come out, it'll hit the carpet or the tiles, it'll go ahead and suck it back up into this section over here. So uh, it's a two and a half meter hose. Uh, I'll start you off with just, let's say you wanted to clean uh, upholstery. So sofas, stairs, cars, for example. Uh, it comes with this special uh, plastic upholstery tool with these two little wings on the side. So that's your jet. The jet will spray the, the liquid or the water outwards. And that stops the overspray from going. If you're cleaning a car, for example, you're never going to get water shooting out all over your dash. Um, and it's a really comfortable, very easy to use, as you can see, very, very heavy duty um, hose. So these are designed to last. So we've sold these machines with the exact same tools in the bigger versions for, for car detailing centers, and they've just lasted years and years and years. You can replace the nozzles, okay, you can replace the couplings, you can replace just the, the, the clear transparent uh, upholstery tool by itself and you can replace this mechanism inside here, your little chamber, okay? So that's all really easy to use. So again, you just uh, push that in, okay, into the end of the hose and the other end of the hose goes into your handle. So once that's set up and you've got your liquid inside here and your shampoo, you plug it in, turn both the vacuum and the, the spray nozzle on when you pull the, the handle here, this trigger, the water will just spray out. So what will happen is, it'll spray onto the surface, and you go ahead and just extract it out. Okay, so there's all different kinds of spotters and chemicals you can use. Um, I'll leave that up to you, but essentially that's the method. So that'll dry, because it has so much vacuum, it'll dry very, very quickly. Um, so, now if you wanted to clean uh, the carpet, the floors, again, you just disconnect this. Now it's crucial that you turn the machine off, Okay, the vacuum and the, the pump off, and you and you press the trigger to get rid of any pressure inside this line before you disconnect your hose, your your um, your water line hose. The same goes when you're going to pack it away and store it. Make sure the machine is turned off, the pump is turned off. You pull the trigger just for five seconds, two seconds. That gets rid of the pressure from the line, and you can go ahead and store it. The reason why you do that is because next time you go to use it, okay, if you don't do that. This, this will be really hard to push back inside there again. That's not just with a carry, that's with any machine that uses the pump. Okay, so once you remove your upholstery tool and you disconnect it from here, you can go ahead and use grab your, the, the wand. So there's, these are stainless steel, they're actually quite he, um, heavy, they're very, very solid. Heavy duty, they're not that heavy. Okay. <laughs> so you can use um, a whole array of different accessories, but essentially, this lower bend will enter into the front of the, of the head, okay, just like so. And then your handle, that's your handle, will fit into the top, like that. Okay, so that's the setup. The beauty behind this is that it has, this head comes with this, the wheels, okay, the non-marking wheels, the chemical resistance, and the beauty behind that is that makes it lighter to push on the carpets. And what you do is you just angle it down, Okay, so I'll just raise this squeegee up. So when you clean the carpets, okay, that that head, this metal part here, is on the carpet, okay, and you can go ahead and, and put, apply some pressure and just can't work your way backwards. So when you pull the trigger, it'll be spraying from this jet onto the carpet. This is a very wide angle jet, so it'll spray onto the carpet, and then you'll be sucking that out from here, and that'll go, all go into your dirty water tank. Okay, now if you want to clean uh, tiles, vinyl, hard floors, so you have, let's say, um, it's a childcare center, you, you want to sort of collect something in, in the foyer that's carpeted, and then of course there's an accident on the tile floors, you need to collect that up as well. So you just, just move this lever down, and what, what will happen is that you get this, the squeegees will drop. And now you can go ahead and suck up 
uh, extract the liquids of tiles and that'll leave it completely dry. The vacuum in this is sensational, so that'll leave it, leave it completely dry. It also comes with this really heavy duty um, handle that you can attach onto the wand, okay? So that'll help. Um, I'll just put it in the floor here. I'll come in the front. So, this little tube will attach to the front inlet. It's a quick connect coupling as well. Okay, that just attaches to there, like so. And I don't have it, um, you just need an Allen key to remove that and attach it on to the wand. That helps with, with when you're using the head, um, so you're not bending down and doing this kind of thing, you know? So you have to get an upright position, work your way backwards, it's pretty simple. So that comes with the machine. So obviously, you have another trigger up here, and so when you pull the trigger, the, the machine will spray your chemical onto the floor, it'll then extract it out, pull the way back through into your dirty water container. So then, when the machine is full, uh, it, it'll run out of water, okay, and what will happen is you take this off, make sure you unplug it, release the pressure, you can remove your line if you want to, or you can leave it all intact. Okay. Take that to your toilet or the laundry and tip it out. And that's pretty much it. So it's really important to make sure that you wash this container out, otherwise that will smell. Um, and it's very important that you keep this filter here clean as well. Okay, so clean out this, this chemical, this container. Uh, if you're running lots of shampoo through your machine, it's always a good idea to run like a, a descaler through it from time to time. Um, and uh, some with a bit of acid inside of it to get rid of all the calcium that builds up inside the pump, but very mild as well. And it's a good idea to flush your hose out as well, just so that when you're storing it for six months, if you're not using it for very often, that it's not going to stink as well. So uh, the Carrick Sabrina, it's a compact, really, really portable machine. You can use it for, for home cleaning, you can use it for, like I said, for offices, uh, little light jobs, it'll fit in the back of, in the back seat of, of almost any vehicle, I suppose, it's really compact, um, it's quite light as well, so it's not very heavy at all, incredibly easy to use, um, commercial heavy duty vacuum cleaner, sorry, carpet shampoo, uh, and uh, yeah, you can pick one up at Dr. Vacuum.